Hey guys and welcome back. So to begin off this eye look today I'm going to go in with my usual Too Faced Born This Way Cream Puff Concealer and I'm applying that all over the lid to neutralize the base and just allow the eyeshadows to really stand out and show true to their color. It also just gets rid of any veins or redness or anything like that that could hinder the eyeshadow look. For the first eyeshadows of today, I'm actually going to go in with a transition color. So I'm going to take creme and made for each other from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and apply that through the crease with a fluffy crease brush. Next, I'm going to go in with mocha and chip and apply that to the outer corner and through the crease. So I'm actually making it quite pigmented um, with this step. I want it to be really like hot and heavy kind of thing. I want it to be really dark and smoky and then I'll go in with some lighter tones afterwards to soften the edges out. These two shadows I'm taking are called Puta and Butter from the same palette. I'm just going in and softening those edges of those dark browns just so it's nice and soft and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Next to cut my crease and also clean up under the brow I'm taking the same concealer I used before, the Too Faced concealer and on a lip brush I'm going to clean up under the brows and also cut my crease. So I'm going in and actually kind of cheating my crease in a way. I'm making the cut crease quite high above my natural crease line because I want the eyes to look a lot bigger and I want those blues to really stand out. Um, and just the eyes, yeah, to look a bit more rounded and doe-eyed rather than kind of feline and cat eye. So I'm rounding out the cut crease and also bringing it up higher above my natural crease. Then I go in and just kind of clean up the lid area itself. I just go in and use my finger and just uh, yeah, clean up the area. I also make sure to fade out the outer edge so that those browns fade into the concealer and there's no like defining point where the cut crease finishes. Then I'm going to go in with the first shadow on the lid area. I'm taking this beautiful matte white shadow from the Malibu eyeshadow palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics and applying that to the inner third of the eyelid or like the inner quarter I would say actually. Then taking this absolutely gorgeous like turquoisey aquary blue shadow and placing that all over the lid right next to the white shadow and I'm taking this all the way across. It's so so gorgeous. I find though with these eyeshadows they show up better because they are matte I feel like they show up better if I use my finger to apply them down rather than a brush. So I go in and make sure to apply the shadow quite heavily all over the lid with my finger and then along the edges I'll just go in with a brush. Next I'm taking these gorgeous kind of yellowy orange tones. One is from the Malibu palette, that yellow tone, and then the orangey kind of yellow tone is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette in the shade Creamsicle and I'm applying that next to the Aquary Blue shadow. Then to finish up the outer corner, I'm taking those deep browns again on a petite crease brush and I'm blending the browns into the orange yellow tones. Making sure to go back and forth with each color guys so it all fades together seamlessly. For my wing liner today, I want a brown wing liner and I actually use a liquid lipstick for this. I'm using the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Chocolate Wasted and applying that with a eyeliner brush. I wanted a quite thick dramatic wing so I went a bit higher up like a bit thicker on the wing liner than I usually would and I dragged it and extended it out a little bit further than I usually would as well. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous liquid eyeshadow from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics and applying that all over the kind of like center of the wing liner and then to top that off I'm going in with this sparkle pig glitter in the shade mermaid and applying that over top of the liquid eyeliner eyeshadow. And finally, I'm going in with lashes. These are the Pleasantly Plump 2 style lashes from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with these lashes. They are so full, so voluptuous, and they really make the eyes open and just kind of add that drama to the look that I was going for. Next, I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I'm taking Cloudy from the Dusty Coral Palette and applying that, like I said, to the very inner point of my inner corners and to the very highest point of my brow. And then to smoke out the bottom lash line I'm going to take uh, Mocha and Chip I think it was from the Jaclyn Hill palette again and just wiggling that tightly against the bottom two-thirds of my lower lash line. I just want to really kind of smoke it out and make that bottom lash line kind of pop a bit more. Then to soften the edges I'm going in with cream and made for each other to soften the edges of those browns. 
Then I'm going to go in with the Raw Volumizing Mascara with Coconut Oil to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara. For lips today, I'm taking this gorgeous kind of nude brown liquid lipstick from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I can't quite remember the name, so I will leave it linked down below in the description bar. But oh my lord, it just goes so well with this kind of modern day cut crease look. Like the browns all just melt together so well. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. Let me know your thoughts down below and any looks you'd like to see next. I love you all so much and I hope you enjoyed this kind of like simple but dramatic eye look. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.